This video is going to show how to do smooth top-down movement with animations in eight directions, like how I did in my current game I'm working on. So to start out, we have a completely empty scene. I'm going to go ahead and just add a node 2D, and then I'm going to add the player kinematic body 2D. I'm going to add a collision body, or a collision shape, collision shape, just simple square. I'm then going to attach a sprite, and this is where all the animation is going to take place. The sprite is going to be the robot character from my game. I am actually going to provide a link to this character if you want to try it out with this one. Go ahead and just disable the filter, that way it looks cleaner. So after you have that inputted, just go ahead and set the texture, load, robot. You're going to then change the animation V frames and H frames to match this. V vertical, H horizontal. So we have 6 horizontal and 8 vertical. Now this is going to give you your character. I'm going to go ahead and just drag out a copy right out of view, just so we could use it for reference. I'm also going to do a camera 2D. I'm going to zoom in. That way, you could get a better view on the character. Go ahead and select current, so that it's the current camera. I just saved it. I'm going to go ahead and click run, play, select that, so it runs that. So we have a simple scene, no movement, no nothing really yet. I'm then going to attach an animation player. This is going to do the two animations we need in order to do this. One animation is going to be idle, another animation is going to be walk, or run. In this case, I'm just going to call it walk. So for this, I'm going to do the single axis animation that I talked about in a previous video. Link to that video if you are interested. I'm going to do the sprite, and I just realized this robot sprite sheet should be there. So I'm going to do add track, property track, sprite, frame codes, and then I'm going to make sure I only animate in the x-axis. So I'm going to insert a key, 1 at 0, insert a key, 1 at 1. And the reason I only want to animate in the x-axis is if I run this, you're going to want to go ahead and set up a loop and a nearest. So if I run this, he does his little idle animation. I could actually change the y, and this will change the direction he's looking at. And I'm going to end up doing this with code, a simple algorithm that will calculate the direction. I'm going to go ahead and set up the walking now. I'm going to do one about every point to you. So property frame, sprite, frame codes, x-axis. If we look here, so we did 0, 1, we're going to have 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go ahead and add that every 0.2 seconds. It's not letting me insert a key. Make sure you do lowercase x. So I'm going to do 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm then going to decrease this down to 0.8, and we run this, and he does a little walk animation, set a loop. Now I could go ahead and change the direction he's running in. I'm going to show you how to set up the code for this. Just go over to the player, add a player GD. We don't need any of this really. If you want more space, you could click the animation right here. It'll close that. So we're going to need basic movement and I showed you in a different video how to do that, link to that video. I'm going to just copy and paste that here. If I run this, it'll do basic movement. Next, we're going to handle the animation. We want him to swap to the walking animation when you when you have input. So if input vector is not equal to vector2.0. So if we actually are giving input, we're going to have him do the walking animation. If that animation player get current animation, get current is not equal to walking, then we're going to do animation player dot stop, animation player dot play walking. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this right here, and then I'm just going to change this to idle idle. So this will make him animate when we walk. Now we need to actually get the direction he's walking in. And this part actually uses some relatively simple trigonometry. So this right here is going to turn his input vector into a direction. It'll be 0 if he's looking down, 1 if he's looking a little bit to the right, 2 if he's looking right, and basically it'll circle around. I'm going to go ahead and describe how this works using the unit circle. If you don't want that, go ahead and skip to this timestamp. So as for what this is doing, the input vector.normalize.angle will give us a 
degree in radian not a will give us a angle in radians which is this number pi 6 pi 4 pi 3 pi 2 basically i wanted to get rid of the pi so i divide by pi i times 4 because we want to get rid of the 4 so this will be 1 this will be 2 this will be 3 this will be 4 i then plus 2 to have it rotate this way because um this is in reverse so i needed to do a negative to reverse the rotation and then i plus 2 to just rotate it down to here so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 so that's how that works of course this is going to give us negatives and stuff because the way the math works for it so we're going to do a loop basically so if direction is greater than 7 direction minus equals 8 if direction is less than 0 direction plus equals 8 now all we need to do is take our y-axis and change it to the direction and we only want to do that if it's an input vector because if not then it's just going to equal 0 and just like that a measly 40 lines of code two animations in the animation player and we are able to animate 16 different animations idle for each direction and walk for each direction now this will also work on the controller as i have tried it on the current project i'm working on so hopefully that was able to help you thanks for watching